Hi everyone, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a project share and uh, again following along with um, my project shares of what I've sent along to Janae who's Happy Mail Obsessed and I wanted to break it up into smaller project shares and I didn't want to spoil any of the goodness before I sent it to her. So here is my post video after she's unboxed it and let's get started on what I've created. So. I bought a whole bunch of zippers and I bought them because of Adriana Alvarez and Tony Craft Purge and I wanted to create my own pouch. It isn't the best pouch but the best part of it is I used a vinyl sheet and I used a zipper that I bought so I kind of love it because it's kind of wonky it's not straight <laughs> and it's homemade but with a pretty pink zipper and this gorgeous vinyl sheet that I got off Allie it is stunning it is pretty and I'm in love you guys oh my god I just realized there's like a piece of the backing on this vinyl sheet okay here we go and yeah, it's homemade. So in here, I wanted to store some embellies that I had. And uh, they had bag toppers on them, so I didn't want to just throw them in a box. So here are some embellishments that I did project shares previously. These are my clipboard that I created on my Cricut. Here are some of the butterflies that I created. And these are some bag toppers that I had shown in a project share seat. We got a bent wing situation. So let me fix that. And then here is another one. And here I have some teacup embellishments that I created. Um, I will leave project shares from my em previous embellishments down below if you're interested, if you need inspiration. But I wanted a pretty home for all of these embellies to live in. And I made it. So I hope you love it, Janae. <laughs> so uh, let me just see. I'm going to stick this back in. And in we go, and she could you reuse this um, pouch for a future something. Uh, next up is an altar project that I did. I had altered one of these Dollar Tree camera frames. I've seen them all over Instagram, and I wanted to take on it. So I had purchased a couple from the Dollar Tree, and I made one in a Maggie Holmes theme. And you guys, I love how it came out. It is stunning. So I have this gorgeous little uh, chunky bubblegum bead tassel yarn on the side. Um, I have this resin piece that I created. I love this bow. It's my favorite Prima mold um, that I have to date. And then I made it in a balloon paper because I had not played with this collection at all you guys i'm guilty of being those maggie holmes hoarders so i finally used and busted this paper pad and i wanted to i don't know i just picked out some of my favorite designs and i hope janae loves it so i have a little cluster of flowers here and these are my beautiful prima flowers i have this little chipboard from the marigold collection that says magical moment and i thought it was perfect with the camera obviously this little beautiful bird paper i did paint the whole thing but i did end up covering it up with paper anyways it is white and then i went with some kind of like a gold paint to give it a little bit of like a more rustic or you know edge i guess um and then in here in the shaker i actually have one of my resin swans and a resin flower that I created and a little resin heart and beautiful pearls from button galore and more and those crystal hearts because yeah it's so pretty I, I don't know I thought it was really sweet to just add or make my resin pieces as a shaker piece that lives in here forever this is a willow lane I believe frame so this came in really handy. I love the little pom-pom accents. I added some jemmies on top. This little yellow heart because I've been obsessed with yellow. This little button where you go and take snap the picture. And in this I just added a little screw pin because I wanted, I don't know, I just thought the tassel just looked gorgeous the way it did just like this. So I think this take on the Dollar Tree camera frame was a great one or in my opinion. 
Next up is this mini caddy. And this one we did agree upon making. We I like to ask whoever I swap with if they have a bucket list item that they want to kind of cross off or I'll mention a bucket list item. And at the time I just didn't have one. And she mentioned Patty's mini caddy uh, tutorial. And I've seen the video, but I never got around to trying it. And since we agreed upon it, this was the perfect opportunity. And I did use the Marigold collection. I stitched each and every one of these pockets. Oh my God, this po project, I had a lot of sewing, which I didn't mind because I love sewing. I think it just gives it that little detail. I didn't change much of, I didn't change anything actually. I took Patty's tutorial word for word, <laughs> but I did add a little bit of the trim just to give it a little bit of a texture to it. And I, in here, I have a whole bunch of goodies, you guys. Um, some little embellishment pack I have. It wouldn't be a crafty kimchi project without a little resin charm. This is a buddy charm that I created in the past. Um, I have some tassels here. I have more resin bows that I created. These are my favorite resin bows from the Prima Mold. I have a die. I have some tassels in here. I have some shaker mix. And in the pockets, I have a whole bunch of other goodies that I can't wait to share for her. Well, let's see. These are these charms that I created. Um, this is an AliExpress buy that I had. And I just created a whole bunch of fun marigold inspired charms and i'm going to share these with her and let's see what else i got going on here um for the most part you know just a whole bunch of goodies and tassels and stuff like that but if you have seen uh my project share i am obsessed with these beading hoops and I created one with her name on it. Isn't it so sticky cute? I hope she likes it. This is a keychain that I created and I have this little tassel here um, that I made myself. I added three different colors and this little vinyl strap that she can take on and off if she wanted to use it. I just thought it'd be a fun little accent piece like her keys on the side of her bag when she's, you know, She's taking her purse out for a walk or something. And that is it for my project share, you guys. I hope you found inspiration. I hope you found, I don't know. I love what I created and I hope she loves it too. So that is it for my project share, you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.